Hey guys, it's Avila Brownie, back with a brand new video. I'm really sorry, I know it's been too long. I promised I'd make a complete uh, tutorial for HD Stage. That was about two years ago or more now. I didn't do it in the end, only had the first part, and I know a lot of you guys are asking for the second, so I can only apologise for that, I've just been super busy. But uh, I'm back now, brand new video, got a new tutorial series coming out, so stay tuned. Side panels is the first on the agenda, so I've just got a quick diagram on the stage, and uh, so it's going to look something like that when it's complete. And uh, the first step is these side panels at the side, so keep watching, and I'll show you how to make them. Okay, guys, so to make the side panels, I've just drawn a quick little diagram here. So what we're going to be doing is following the principle of using a net um, to create it, and I've made one earlier. I'll just show you now. So, as you can see, there's a bit of uh, handiwork gone into this. Essentially, each side panel is going to be made up of four of those quarter circular tubes. And so, as per this diagram, you're going to need five pieces per uh, segment. And then we're going to attach them all together to make the desired end product. So the dimensions are in the description below, so you don't need to worry about uh, copying, or you can just pause the diagram at the video here. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I've laid out the pieces in front of me here, and now it's just a question of uh, taping them together so we can form the shape. It's easier first if we just connect take this piece at the front away just put that to one side and these side bits can be that as well so just simply align the pieces making sure they're not overlapping and then secure them together just with a bit of sellotape If you want to, you can put tape all the way along the seam, uh, but there's no need really to waste. So once you've done that, we're going to want to put the sides in. And just make sure when you're doing the sides that uh, that is parallel with that line there. Cutting these pieces out, guys, will take a while, I'm not going to lie to you. It's quite boring and tedious, measuring them out and cutting them. Uh, so I didn't include it in this video. So now we're going to want to start to assemble a bit of the box. So simply fold one of the sides up. And then start by securing at one end. And uh, as you can see, it's quite fiddly, so if you have got someone else to help you, then that is ideal. Also, a bit of a tip when you're doing it that, uh, well, have plenty of sellotape to hand, that's one. Bear with me a second, guys. Anyway, a bit of a tip when you're doing this, if you put the tape on the top surface first and then get the other surface underneath, and just place that under it and pull the tape down. Because what you don't want is the bit underneath sort of being overhung by the top. 
You'll see what I mean when you come to do it. Just make sure you have a nice crisp corner. Or not, as the case may be. There we go. So, as you can see now, you've sort of got a trough. And now it's time to bring the piece we put to one side earlier back in. This is going to be the bit that folds up and creates the curved surface. So just start at the bottom. Secure it in place at each side. There we go. Now we can start to bend it up. So here just make sure that your piece of cardboard follows uh, the profile. And then you want the top. There we go. If a bit does go in, you can just use the tape to pull it up, just like that. And then, if you want, just take a ruler and put the uh, back and just poke that in and use it to make sure the sides are nice curved. And we've just got to attach the back. So if we start in the middle, start with a piece on the back, we can pull it up so it meets. Fold that over. There we go. As again, guys, you can put more tape on it if you want, but honestly, that's all you're going to need. So, all you need to do now, is once you've created one, you need to make another seven until you have eight pieces. Okay guys, so now you've got your eight segments. Time for the easy part. So we're gonna make something like this, one made before. Simply attaching four together. So just gonna to wanna to bring them in. Like so. So first things first, I'm going to attach two together. Piece of tape at the top. Piece of tape at the bottom. One there. And another like so. Easy, now flip it over and just same on the back, piece of tape at the top, piece of tape at the bottom and we can just put one in the middle as well. So, so that's, that's that one done now, so we can move that to one side, bring the other two in and just repeat the same process. 
Take the top. Bottom. On the other side of the centre. Flip it over. Top. Bottom. Okay, so now we've got two. I'm going to want to attach these together as well. To create the final thing. Just going to put that piece at the side. Another at the other. Okay guys, so that's the side panels completed now. All that remains to do with them is to decorate them and make them look like proper screens. That will all be done in a later part. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial.